Yes, it's one of the great sights in sport, isn't it? This day, last year, on this very day, we were sweltering in 39 degrees. It's far more pleasant, however, at Melbourne Park today, looking at a top temperature of around the 30. And isn't it fantastic, Fitzy, to see uh, the greatest player in women's tennis out on centre court, ready to give uh, this very good crowd some great action? Well, she is the greatest player uh, in women's tennis and uh, looking like she may well become... Uh well, very close to being the greatest player of all time with the way her uh, uh, wins are mounting up and the, the amount of Grand Slam events she's won now. What a sensational player she's been over the last decade. Yes, she's got just three Grand Slam events to join Margaret Court, who of course was successful on 24 occasions. And Chanda Rubin, her opponent in this, I guess we can call it, exhibition set, you're one person who firmly believes that she could be in the top four or five in well, the next couple of weeks. Yeah, I'm a big fan of uh, Chanda Rubin. I, I was obviously very impressed last year when she beat Arantxa Sanchez Vaccaro in that marathon here on Centre Court. Had everyone standing in their, uh, in their uh, seats. She really did put on a great performance. She's had some problems with injuries over the last 12 months. But uh, looked pretty impressive at the Hopman Cup. And uh, she's a good athlete. Moves well. Plays the big points well. I think she'll really give the title a shake. As I said, this is just one set. It is the first player to win six games. Another 60 seconds or so of warm-up. We do have a, a news special coming your way tomorrow. An amazing escape. Quite incredible. 12 noon tomorrow. Steffi Graf was quoted, Fitzy, well, she was a little critical of the balls that they've used uh, in practice. There have been some criticism, not only the balls, but also the court. Is any of that criticism, do you believe, justified? Well, I haven't hit with these balls uh, this year, uh, Sandy, not the ones they're using for the tournament. I'll get my chance today, so maybe I can comment a little more accurately after that. But I know that Tennis Australia has confirmed that the specifications of the balls are exactly the same as last year. So uh, there shouldn't be any reason uh, to think why uh, there should be a problem with it. I also neglected to mention in our opener, we're going to be seeing the return, not only of John Fitzgerald, but uh, the Supermax, Peter McNamara and Paul McNamara. I was probably overcome by Pamela Anderson being in our presence, Fitzy, which I guess is not all that difficult. I noticed your eyebrows were uh, higher than they uh, <laughs> they normally sit when uh, when you mentioned Pamela. That'll uh, be fun. Yeah, it will be a lot of fun. It's great to see uh, such a good crowd in attendance. Steffi Graf is going to open proceedings. Club 15. Start from Chanda Rubin. She's really uh, nailed the ball uh, in these first two points and opened the court up on that occasion uh, to give her a chance to hit a winner to Steffi's backhand side. Love 40. Three break points now. First game of the six game set. Chanda Rubin. First Chanda Rubin got the early break. She leads one love, now serving second game. Let's go, first serve. Oh, 
that trademark. Just a huge forehand from Graf. To defy the laws of gravity sometimes. She hits sort of underneath the ball very flat quite often. Keeps it in the court. Chanda Rubin, just 20 years of age. And giving her senior partner a little bit of a runaround. Very impressive forehand also uh, from Chanda Rubin's end of the court. They're really not holding back these uh, girls in the first two games. Steffi Graf fans out there, not, a, not happy with that call. It's pretty tight. umpires and line judges remain out there when you and Cashy get out there. <laughs> You're not looking at me, are you? <laughs> I guess we all be begin our career Sandy calling our own lines maybe we'll uh, we'll end up calling our own lines at the end of our careers oh, excellent forehand from Ruben set up by a good first serve down the middle close to the tee and Steffi had to move across to make the return and just opened up her forehand side of the court It's okay to go for a big second serve, but if it's directed to Steffi Graf's forehand, uh, you're really flirting with danger. Oh. Oh. Advantage Graf. And possibly the uh, forehand on the previous point from Steffi having something to do with that double fault. Chanda just pressing a little bit too much on the second serve there. And now a great chance for Graf to break back. Which right. he does. One on. earlier how Oz Tennis was created from Vic Tennis by Paul McNamee. Oh. And the 
it's great now that Fitzy some 3,000 youngsters around the country uh, being able to participate. So it's really a great success. Out. 15 all. 3,000 youngsters with uh, tennis rackets in their hands. I, I like that thought. Who otherwise wouldn't have had the opportunity. That's, that's the marvellous thing. Steffi takes a little bit of a swing at that high forehand volley and really didn't time it perfectly. Gave Chandler the opportunity to throw up the lob and draw the error. Hold. Wow. Ooh, Talk about a bullet. 15-40. Does anyone want to hold serve? Broken string, I think. 30-40. Yep. <laughs> Most of those uh, restrings should be... Uh, just about exactly the same, maybe a tiny bit of variation. attempt to do something now that no one has been able to do in this match today and that is hold serve Steffi changing her mind there uh, at the last second. Probably was thinking of uh, slicing that ball down the line to Ruben's forehand, but at the last second, just changing her mind and attempting the cross-court drop shot. Missed by quite a way. Fifteen. Just had a message too from... Essendon centre half forward James Hurd uh -oh. wondering if you're starting to mentally prepare yourself for this doubles clash coming up a little bit later on. He's hoping you are. Yeah, I'm sweating. maintain that uh, if you're going to be a good doubles player you must pick a really good partner I reckon I was uh, pretty good at that you, you, you then you can hide behind them Well, the graph forehand again uh, responsible for bringing up this break point. Just had Chander on the back foot there. Going graph. Right. Well, I think 
Steffi, I think Steffi's uh, saying play a lead. She is saying play a yeah. They both heard yeah. a lead, and uh, yeah. Steffi very sportingly knew that Chanda's heart wasn't in that drop shot, I think. It's still a point to break back for Steffi Graf to level it to all. Well, I thought Chanda here uh, at the most would probably just uh, get this ball back defensively, but uh, <laughs> no way. She cracked that backhand down the line. Advantage Ruby. And she holds serve. So finally, Ruben breaks Ruben through. Leads the handy little lead in this one set match. Love 15. Chanda's return of serve has uh, just been exceptional right from the word go. Deep and very hard. Thirty forty. A slice there from Ruben staying exceptionally low and uh, Steffi not being able to get under it enough. Brings up another break point. Steffi very dangerous when uh, Ruben doesn't hit the ball. When she just slices it and it takes longer to get down the other end, it gives Steffi too much time. She gets around to take the ball on her big strength, the forehand. Speaking of big forehands <laughs> and strength. Advantage for Ruben. Sure, I want to have people see me hit the ball <laughs> after this. Out. Advantage graph.
that's a great recovery by Steffi Graf. A beautiful sunny day for this Oz Tennis Charity Day here in Melbourne. Chanda Rubin in a match so far that has been studded with breaks of serve, leads 3-2 and is serving. Bet. First serve. Fifteen. Well, she has produced uh, a high number of double faults uh, in the three games she served so far, but I think that's due to the fact that she really is uh, hitting that second one similar to the speed of her first serve. Probably a little bit afraid of the, the graph return. Love 30. Love 40. Save now by Chanda. 30-40. On the line, swinging wide, perfect serve. Seven-year-old breaks back. Three all. She's won the last six Grand Slams that she's played in. A fantastic achievement, and uh, is this going to be another one for her? Well, it all commences here from Melbourne Park tomorrow, and I hope you can join us on seven. A fantastic fortnight of the best tennis in the world coming your way on Seven Sport. And later on today, we'll have the draw for tomorrow. Something to look forward to there as well. Sandy, I think uh, Steffi Graf, there's no question she has the biggest forehand in women's tennis, one of the biggest of all time, but I'll tell you what, Chandra Rubin really gives the ball a ride. Hers is way up there. Thirty-fifteen. And I guess looking ahead, Fitzy, the top seeds in a championship like the Open are more vulnerable, aren't they? Particularly early on because they've got to play, what, seven matches if they're going to get there. Well, the first rounds are the ones that are dangerous for them, I think. As the tournament goes on, their uh, form improves. They build in confidence. And they certainly expect to play their best tennis uh, late, late in the tournament, towards the quarterfinals, semifinals, and then uh, hopefully the final. Forty thirty. Game graph.
tennis fans absolutely delighted to see Steffi Graf back here in Australia, back here in Melbourne. And joining in on this special Oz Tennis Charity Day. Yes, and she's certainly been given a good workout by Chanda Rubin. No question of that. Rubin serving down 3-4. You think it's never going to drop. Well, I was just going to say, a tennis ball is no different to a golf ball. You're allowed to talk to it. <laughs> well, the chance warming up now. Love 30. You can never say that Steffi Graf doesn't go for the lines. Great control there from that forehand particularly. Love 40. Three more break points for Steffi Graf. Game Graf. Graf leads 5 3. And remembering, of course, this is just one set and the first to six. So Steffi Graf hoping now to serve it out. Athlete, isn't she? This, this woman. I think uh, Chanda would have won the point there against 99% uh, of the players on the tour. But Graf just too quick, too strong off that forehand side. Ruben saying, I'm staying away from that forehand. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? Out! 30-15. Steffi Graf, now just two points from the match. Now yeah, just the one. Crowd delighted to welcome Steffi Graf back to Australia. And on a winning note, 
and looking very strong and ominous signs for the arrest of the women's field, Pitsy. Well, she looks in great shape, doesn't she? Uh, as always, very athletic, so quick. She hasn't lost any of her speed. And it is great to see her back here at Melbourne Park. It's been too long. And particularly to come out on a day for charity like this, the Oz Tennis Charity Day. I know your nerves are starting to get a, a little frayed. The tension's building. <laughs> My nerves are shot already. Because <laughs> if you've just joined us, still to come, of course, Pamela Anderson and Tommy Lee Acker, the drummer she married from Motley Crew, are going to be out on the court up against the Supermax. And uh, then Fitzy and Pat Cash, who have had great success around the world as a doubles combination. Well, they're parting company because uh, Anthony Kudafides of Carlton and James Hurd, one of the, the Brownlow medalists from last year, are coming out onto the court. And you've caught who? James. I believe I'm playing with James. I was just going to say, it's a bit of a motley crew uh, that last <laughs> match, isn't it? Uh, I'm not sure about Pamela Anderson's uh, uh, game ahead of ours, but uh, looking forward to playing with James. And, of course, uh, Andre Medvedev is going to be up against uh, Mark Filipousas. Well, let's see how the scud is. He, uh, he's had a few... Well, certainly one cloud hanging over him the last week with uh, potential injury. Yes, there's been a few whispers, but we'll just have to wait and see, I think. Uh, listen to this roar for Steffi. And I'm sure she'd love to have a chat with uh, Pam Shriver. Pam? Steffi, four-time winner of this championship, but it's been three years since you've been here. You must be happy to be back. Oh, yeah. I mean, I was really excited once I was on the plane, believing that this time I'm going to make it. Like you said, it's been three years, but um, I'm really looking forward to this tournament. I know you, today's set uh, started off a little slowly. But you must have been pleased the way you picked your game up and finished the set out. Yeah, you know, I, I haven't really had too many matches lately since, since uh, the end of November. Um, so maybe uh, I was a little anx anxious starting off, but uh, I felt pretty good out there. Well, thanks for helping out a great charity day. Good luck in the Ford Australian Open. Thank you very much. Bye -bye.